Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Mina, this is the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel and here we do art stuff. I completely messed up that intro. Anyway, welcome. Today I am having fun with this watercolour stamp set and I wanted to play around and share with you my current favourite um, watercolour palette, uh, not watercolour palette, limited palette that I am enjoying playing around with and I've used four specific colours in this particular video but any sort of four in this similar sort of range and I'll talk a bit more about that in a second will work and go well together so we have a very warm leaning colour palette with a so it's mostly analogous which means colours that are close to each other on the colour wheel with one sort of slight contrasting colour so uh, the colours that I have in this particular colour wheel and video that I'm going to be sharing to you, this limited palette, is Quinacridone Gold uh, by M. Graham, or I think they call it Nickel Quinacridone Gold, which is what I'm swatching here. Then the second colour is Quinacridone Red, also by M. Graham, which I'm swatching next to it. Then I have used, I think, Madder Lake Red Light, which is by White Knights. And that's the next one I'm swatching. So, you know, three very warm colours. And then my fourth colour is Olive Green by Sennelier. And this is my favourite, favourite shade of olive green, of like a pre-mixed olive green. And so I've put these four colours together. And like I said, any four colours in this sort of range. So quinacridone gold is basically a staple. And then any sort of like two warm reds, like two different tones of like a warm red. So I like the Madder Lake red light, sort of like an alizarin crimson or like a, uh, like a more darker red. And then um, the quinacridone red could also be replaced with Scarlet Lake or any sort of like a slightly more either corally or more orangey sort of leaning red and then a sort of green on the as the last color is like a nice pop and you could go for like a warm green like I have I have a tendency to really like warmer greens or you could go for like a cooler green anything you'd like another one that I really like here is dusk yellow by Rembrandt which is a granulating sort of green black color which is really lovely in this sort of set as well I was actually doing some practice pieces and paintings for another video I'm planning on filming at some point and this sort of colour palette was one that I accidentally stumbled across and really really loved it so I've kind of been exploring it a little bit more this last month and what you can see I'm doing here right now is I'm doing this little colour wheel um, it's an eight wedge colour wheel and so perfect spot for four different colours and I'm doing sort of like um, the darker mass tone as at like the first wedge on the outer ring and then slowly rinsing off my brush bit by bit and having lighter and lighter washes of that of each colour as you get closer to the center. And then the wedges in between are going to be um you know the two colours on either side mixed together. So the one I'm painting right there was a mix of olive green and quinacridone gold. Then next up we're going to have a mix of quinacridone gold and uh, quinacridone red. So I'm trying to remember the colours now. And then slowly rinsing off my brush and filling in each of those wedges going into the middle. Then we're going to have a mix of the quinacridone red and Madder Lake red light, which is not going to be that interesting because it's just two reds mixed together. But it, overall, it's nice to see the colour range that you can get with these colours. And then on the four outer sort of stamps that I've stamped there, when we get to that, I'm going to be doing some colour mixes with um, different colours on the palette that haven't already been mixed together in the wheel. So right now I'm doing this, the olive green and Madder Lake red light wedge of the painting. Oh, I've already done that. Oh, sorry. My camera, I think, um, died and I had to go replace the battery. So miss missed the painting of that. But right now what I'm doing is I'm painting the mixing stamps. I'm doing the mixing... Um, What's the word? This, yeah, the mixing um, swatch. There we go. And so this first one was Quinacridone Gold and Madder Lake Red Light because those colours aren't next to each other on the wheel. Then I'm doing Olive Green and what did I do this one with? Uh, Quinacridone Red. Olive Green and Quinacridone Red. And it's just slowly adding one colour to the other to see, um, you know, all the some of the variety of shades that you can get 
with mixing those two colors together and it's just a fun way to explore and play with um, a limited color palette and see what sort of fun mixes you can come up with then the third one that I did here I believe it's quinacridone gold and what did I do it with oh I did it with olive green again just to see what sort of range of colors we can get and yeah so it's just really fun playing around with this I do plan on doing more of these sort of little spreads in this book oh and the book that I'm using the watercolor sketchbook that I'm using is by Jackson's it's one of their own brand watercolor sketchbooks it's quite a lightweight sketchbook I think it's only like 160 GSM paper um, it says it's cold press but it's quite a smooth texture cold press and um, according to the label at the back of the book it has 35% cotton in it which is interesting because it definitely doesn't act like a cotton paper uh, the paints go on it a little bit streaky which is not what I really expect from specifically these paints but that's okay like I said it's purely just for fun and for experimenting and playing around with and so this last mixing swatch I just did quinacridone gold and um, quinacridone red again I believe just because I didn't have any other colours to mix together and I thought why not um, so yeah that's what is going on there and yeah if you do like this video please like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos coming in the future um, I will have all of the products that I've used in the in this video linked down below the only thing I can't link is the stamp set I got the stamps from another fellow YouTuber artist her name is Irit Langraf and she has a wonderful channel that you should definitely check out if you haven't seen it already and here I was going to label all the different colors and put the pigment info down etc um, yeah so definitely check out Irit's channel um, I can't link the stamp set because she only offered it as a pre-order a limited run pre-order at the time but like I said I'll link her channel you can sign up to her newsletter I'm quickly using my hairdryer to dry the swatches here so I don't smear anything and um, I believe she might be offering this the stamp set again at some point so I'd be sure to sign up to her newsletter or to subscribe to her channel if you want to get your hands on it when it becomes available again otherwise uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments below and yes yeah, so I'm just going through and finishing off labeling each of the colors and that'll be it so yeah once again thank you for joining me today I will see you guys again soon I do plan on doing um, monthly favorites videos at the end of each month or the beginning of the following month or the previous month let me know if that sort of thing is something you're interested in um, I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to do one for April so this might have to be like my stand-in for April but I will definitely be doing it from May onwards and sort of sharing some of my favorite supplies that I've been using each month all right so this is a color palette I've been loving lately and yeah that's about it all right thank you guys again I said thank you like five times now um, I will see you guys again soon all right take care bye